having said in one of my previous videos that I loved, adored, um, and very much miss uh, La Belle Starique, Liberty Fizz, um, because I know there's so many other people who feel the same way, I just wanted to make this little video about Herve by L'Occitane en Provence. So I'm not sure um, how easy this perfume to get is all over the world, but in the UK it's pretty easy to get. I mean, if you live in London as I do, you, you can literally just go to the shop and buy it because there's quite a few. I mean, it does have a very beautiful bottle, as you can see. Um, it also has a lovely green liquid, as does Labelle's. So I'd read before that this, um, I mean, this is the one voted on Labelle's Riki Liberty Fizz as being the, the one that reminds people the most of Liberty Fizz. And I very much wanted to try it for a long time, but um, I think when I first smelt it, I was like, Mm, it's sort of really similar but it's just not the same and so I just sort of ignored it for a little while and then it just is so expensive I mean it's, it's this is quite expensive although joyously you can get bottles on eBay um, quite easily new wrapped up unopened bottles and used bottles and I think if you want to not spend a stupid amount of money that's good because I think the 30 mil this is a 50 mil but the 30 mil if you buy it from the shop is um, I think about 60, uh, 50 or 60 pounds so they are expensive and um, L'Occitane are expensive generally but they do have very beautiful quite naturalistic lovely perfumes um, I just try not to fall in love with them too much because they are so expensive but this is a this is a special one this is a one worth spending money on because if you loved La Belle's the way that I did this is the closest you're going to get to that perfume. This is the closest you'll get nowadays. Um, and I'm telling you that with an actual real Labelle's that still smells good in comparison to this. So I've got them both here. Oh, my Labelle's Liberty Fizz. Oh, my God. So good. Oh, and now, so Herve is very similar. There's so much about it that's similar. It's just not quite sharp. And it's got a slightly honeyed sweetness that you don't get in Liberty Fizz because Liberty Fizz, the sweetness is coming really from the raspberry. You're getting that kind of slightly sugared, sweet raspberry smell along with the tartness. And in Herbe, the sweetness is coming from the honey. But okay, so I'll read you the notes on here. So this is for Herbe. So I wonder if that's how you're actually supposed to pronounce it. Anyway, the notes are very different, but the effect is very, very similar. It's quite interesting. Top notes are bergamot, pepper and ambrette, musk mallow. Middle notes, nettle blossom, nettle, blackberry, rose hip and clary sage. Base notes, grask, grask, grass. Musk, honey, cashmerian, wheat, and uh, coumarin, coumarin. I don't know what that is, but it looks like a tonka bean to me. So the notes couldn't be more different, but genuinely, these smell very similar. And also on, uh, uh, oh, this is also compared quite a lot to the other one in my video that was my everyday perfume, the Russian one, the Brocard Listia Tomato and that's tomato and blackcurrant um, and that also has a vibe because that's the other one that I think smells very similar to this it's it's not as complex certainly um, but it's quite cheap and it's very tart and that is that's like it's like the the it's like if they were twins yeah so this one is the kind of the perfect mixture of, of sweetness and tartness with herbal, fruity, floral, greenness. The Listia one that I talked about before, which unfortunately is very difficult to get it outside of Russia now, um, that one is like the, the slightly sharper and less complicated one. Um, and then this twin sister is the sweeter, more syrupy um, and quite complex one. Um, so, it is definitely more syrupy, 
but it's so reminiscent at the same time that it does very much sort of feel like you're still wearing the bells, um, just the sweeter the bells. And I think for those people who loved the bells, but don't have it anymore, I think if you smelt this, you would just think that smells exactly like the bells. The only reason that I recognise that it's it's got differences is because I've got them both here to smell, you know. Um, but they're so similar. They're so similar, and the, the bells in the uh, um, uh, the Liberty Fizz are uh, uh, they're tomato leaf, black currant, orange, basil, mint. So you've got that fruitiness. You've got the greenness. You've got the herbalness. The herbalness is that a word? Freesia magnolia wisteria, so you've got the, a few flowers, then you've got fig leaf, you've got raspberry, so you've got that tang, you've got, like, there's a lot going on, and they are, yeah, I mean, and the more they dry down, the more similar they become, except for her, they still is a bit sweeter, a little bit more syrupper, it feels thicker, I think that's what it is, I think the brocard listia tomato smells really tangy, doesn't last particularly long but that's the freshest and then labels is kind of the perfect amount of freshness it's not too sharp it's not too sour it's had a really good lasting herbe is like it feels thicker more syrupy but it's still very green and just still very very fresh it's really absolutely lush so this is as close as I can get nowadays I think realistically because it also has a much better lasting power than um the brocard perfume but this one it's it's so close it's so close and this is not an option for me nowadays you know I can't just spray this I've had this for maybe um, seven years in my in a dark cupboard um and it still smells spectacular but when it's gone it's gone forever um and this one they've had this for years they will have it for years i think it's a really big seller for them it's very popular i think this and then like the, the cherry blossom one are absolutely massive um so despite this being quite expensive i think this is if you liked labels and you miss it this is a fabulous perfume and it's absolutely worth investing in if you really miss this one